Here's what I do on these though. Whenever you find the electric ones, the ones that are battery powered, and this one is battery powered, this whole gun would sell for like $20 plus shipping. So really, you can make just about as much money as historical author Anthony Brandt has said. Other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're in the eBay cave, and then we're gonna be out in the Commonwealth cabin, then we're gonna be back in the eBay cave, and then we're gonna be back in the Commonwealth cabin. Had a ton of stuff sell. This is actually a Sunday night. You won't probably see this until Tuesday, but we sold so much. Between the two stores, we're into the 40s in sales, and there were a couple more that just came on by. So we have a ton of stuff to sell. Over, I think, close to $800 in sales. Maybe a little bit more than that at this point. Now, I'm doing a little something different today. I'm filming with my GoPro. I usually use my phone, but I'm going to try my GoPro in here today and see how it works. I've really never done it before, so we'll see if it works out. We have a little, uh, I guess I'll call it a trick that I want to show you. It's not really a trick. It's something that a lot of you know out there. But sometimes you can make the same amount of money with a lot less work, depending on the item. I'm going to show you that in just a second. We had a couple of normal things sell, a couple of odd things sell, and a couple of the things that we really depend on selling. Even though they're not much profit, they do seem to sell over and over again, and we're pretty happy with those sales. So, so let's go ahead and take a look at what sold today. If you've been watching the show, you know that we've sold a few board game pieces lately. It's not something we typically do, but lately we have, just because those seem to be what's selling, so we've kind of dug them out of the uh, old death pile over there. So... Here is the Lord of the Rings, and this one is, I think this is Lord of the Rings Risk, is what this one is. And it sold, believe it or not, I think it sold for $10 plus shipping, $9.90 plus shipping. So out the door, this was $19 bucks for this thing. And this is actually going to be fairly similar to what I'm going to show you later, where sometimes you can make more money with less work selling parts of things as opposed to selling everything. And so the other one's a little bit different than this, but it's along those same lines. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is pure profit at this point. I think this is the fourth set of parts, not set of parts, the fourth part that we've sold out of that game so far. I think that might be it. There might be one more left. All right, if you've been watching this show, we've talked about this thing a ton, and this is the very last one. We haven't made very much money on these, like $3 profit a piece, and this one sold. I think it was $8.99 free shipping. And so the king has finally sold out. Richard Petty has finally sold out. So we're happy. Didn't make much, but we made a little bit over and over again, and that makes us happy. All right, here's one of the old reliables for us, and it's those uh, mousetrap replacement marbles, those steel marbles. And so those sold. We don't make very much money at all on those, but we do tend to sell a bunch of them. These are going off to Martin, Mike, Rhonda, Jennifer, and Christine. So thank you all so much, and we hope you enjoy them, and we hope that they bring you wonderful reselling luck. All right, we're going to go head out into the Commonwealth cabin. We're going to check that out in there, and we're going to see what sold out of there. There's some vintage items that we sold, and then one item that I was taking pictures of and listing the other day that I want to talk about because I sell this item probably a little bit differently than a lot of people do. At any rate, let's go take a look. All right, so I've heard a lot of you give your opinion after I asked for it last time about how we're going to go about doing videos in here. So we're gonna experiment for a while, but I've been in here working a little bit. I'll let you take a peek around here. I need to dig through this. I had a buyer, the one who bought that train lock, they asked me to uh, see what else I had. So that's all railroad stuff I still haven't gone through. So I'm gonna have to go through that. That was my project for the day. I haven't got done. But let me grab a couple things and show you what sold. And then I wanna talk about a couple things. So we sold this guy right here, kind of. And then I sold one of these, and we've talked about those a few times. So let me take them in here and put them down, and we'll talk about these in a second. The next thing, I think, is the uh, Oklahoma bin. We're going to pull out a couple of crocs. All right, so we've talked about this one before. $13.88 is what we're selling it for. 
which is not a whole bunch of money, but we are selling them first class. I usually just say, hey, just to beat the competition and still make the same amount of money, I say, I'm going to ship that thing out first class. I'm going to wrap it in one thing, a bubble, and we're going to ship it out just like it is. And uh, nobody seems to care. Nobody's complained yet. And I'm not doing it priority mail, which means I can still make a little bit of money and give them a little bit of a discount compared to the rest of them. And we've been pretty successful at selling them off so far. All right, this was a buy. I don't think I bought these, at least I can't remember. Actually, you know what? I think I did buy these. I think I remember the sale I bought them at. But my wife listed them. She listed them for $24.95, free shipping. But these are first class shippers, same thing. I usually put in the message, although she listed these, so I don't know if she did, that I'm gonna ship them in a poly bag and just ship them like that. They're not gonna get damaged. I've done it before, I've never had a complaint, and we're able to ship them off at a good price so we can still make some money even though we're doing $25 free shipping. Had a lot of people ask about free shipping. I tend to do more than a lot of people do, but I only do it on items where I know what the cost will be. So I know that this will cost me no more than say, well, right around $5 at the very most. I know that's kind of the limit as to how much I'll spend. All right, so let me bring the camera over here. This is from the Sunny Shares sale. And this is a uh, swimsuit, it's a bathing suit. The 19, I guess, 70s is my guess. I think she listed 60s and 70s. And my wife listed all this stuff. This one sold for $39 free shipping. So it is a consignment sale, so we're gonna make half that profit. So we're looking at maybe, let's just do the math here. So we're looking at, let's say it's 40 bucks. So let's say $6 in fees from 40. It's not, but this will work out pretty close to what it's gonna sell for. And let's say this thing costs $4 to ship, which might be pretty accurate. It's pretty small. So there's $10 in fees. So we're looking at about a $29 profit on that item. And so far with this Sunny Share sale, which is a complete consignment, we're up to $493 profit that's going to be split two ways. So the next item up here is this Nerf gun. Now, I bought a whole box of this stuff for 5 bucks, And I'm going to sell it off piece by piece, part by part. I have a giant box of Nerf rounds and then the magazines. And those don't go for as much as you might think. Matter of fact, they don't go for nearly as much as they used to because Nerf started to figure out they could mass produce those and sell those off, and they sell them fairly cheap. Plus, the Toys R Us bankruptcy really did a number on those sales because they discounted that stuff, and it just flooded the market. So here's what I do on these, though. Whenever you find the electric ones, the ones that are battery-powered, and this one is battery-powered, this whole gun would sell for like $20 plus shipping. And it's a pain in the butt to ship, and it's expensive to ship. And you're paying those fees on that uh, shipping cost as well. So really, you can make just about as much money selling this piece as you can the entire piece. So I kept this gun around just to show you that. But that gun is a pain to ship, and this thing is really easy. And there are a lot of people out there who are looking for just this piece. And if they can't find it, they're going to get rid of the whole gun. So what I'm going to do is get rid of my gun and they're going to have this piece and their gun's going to work. So this sold for $15 plus shipping. This is not even a free shipper. And sometimes you sell, try to sell the whole gun for like 19 or 20 and it'll sit around forever. I listed this and 11 minutes later it sold. All right, so we're going to head back into the Commonwealth cabin. Let's take a look at what sold in there. Then we're going to come back out here and show you a homeschool hustler store sale. And we're going to show you, I think we got a gift. We're going to show you that gift that showed up in our P.O. box. So let's go back in. All right, we sold a polo shirt. You know, back in the day, you used to be able to sell the plain Jane polo shirts really fast and make a little bit of money on them. Now they take a little bit longer to sell and you don't make as much money on them. But this is a soft one. Unfortunately, the tag's not out of it. It's Pima Cotton but I didn't list it as Pima Cotton because the Pima Cotton ones you can get more money for. This one only sold for $12.81 plus shipping. So it was a Goodwill item. So we're making a little bit of money on it. We're probably making about $7 profit on it. All right, this is a pair of Oakley golf shorts. And these are pretty good. Golf clothing, that's that moisture wicking stuff. You know, Under Armour Golf and, under, and uh, Oakley Golf, they're pretty darn good. And this one sold, matter of fact, this was from a, if you remember the yard sale, the price was right at this garage sale, something like that. A huge lot. And it's the first piece we sold from that gentleman. And he was meticulous. As clean as could be, 
Everything was perfect, and we got a ton of golf stuff off of him, and we made a bunch of money. Matter of fact, we sold one golf club and made as much as we spent at that whole garage sale, plus probably 30 bucks. So this is pure profit. It's $12.99, and this was free shipping, so either I made a mistake or eBay got me on that one, because I think this should have been $12.99 plus shipping. So I think I've made the mistake of not double checking lately. eBay with that phone app, boy, they're defaulting, it seems like, more and more to that free shipping. So I have to double check. I've had to go back in and change quite a few, actually. So this one looks like it's snuck past, but that's all right. It is pure profit. It'll go first class. So even selling it for 13 bucks, we're making some money. All right, this one is going out to an eBayer and a YouTuber. And a friend. This is going out to David. This is going out to Rev Resale. And I know a lot of you out there who watch me watch Rev Resale. I sent you over there for a free... I think he was giving away a free Enaman at one point. And he is a terrific guy. And he leaves a little note. He said, I just wanted to support your LU shirt buy. And actually, David, this is not from that bulk buy. I wish. If they had Nike Dry Fit stuff there, I'd have bought every bit they had. This is actually a pretty darn nice shirt and this is from a different LU buy and it wasn't even a buy it was completely free to me I got all kinds of LU stuff for free and Sparky sells pretty darn good you'll see my Sparky bobblehead right here I've sold probably I don't know if I've sold one I've sold 50 of those so he sells pretty good and Nike dry fit sells pretty good so the price on this one was $19.81 free shipping so david that one's coming off to you and let me read your note he says one to support your lu buy i assume this is one of them uh, it isn't but that's okay as an lu grad i appreciate it keep the great content coming and stay safe david aka rev resale and i echo that stay safe out there and we do hope that all of you are staying safe out there and i know that so many of you are still going to work every day and doing the things that need to be done for the rest of us and we do appreciate you very much especially those of you in the healthcare community out there we do appreciate you very very much if you get a chance go over there and check out rev resales channel and i'm going to show it to you in just a second he's a terrific guy and i think we're going to head back out one more time and look at the homeschool hustlers because they had a sale and we had a nice little gift show up in the p.o box so do me a favor and let me know doing the gopro in here is a little awkward for me i don't like it but i think i'm going to use it out in the commonwealth cabin because the sound is a little better than my iphone let me know give me some feedback tell me what you think and we'll go from there. So at any rate, thanks so much for joining us as always. And we will see you next time. All right, we are in here with the homeschool hustler. And she's going to tell us what's sold. But I just wanted you to get a look and go take a look and check out Rev Resale. All right, Reagan, you tell us what's sold. This Eeyore mug. All right, got an Eeyore mug. What does Eeyore say? Oh, bother. <laughs> he says, oh, bother. We love Eeyore, don't we? Yep. All right, so this guy right here came from a garage sale. I think it was entitled, These Folks Were Ready to Sell, or something like that. And I don't remember paying much for that, 50 cents or a dollar, or something like that. Nothing much at all. And it sold for, get this, Reagan, $21 plus shipping. And that sucker's going a long way away. So it's going, somebody paid all in all like $38 to have that mug. So it is headed across the country. We're going to package it up safe, and it will arrive safely. Are you going to help me ship tonight? Yeah. I need some help. we got so many things going out. Matter of fact, we have so many things going out, I'm going to have to turn this into two videos. So we better hurry up and say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. All right, it's just me and Sophie in here right now. I think she thinks I have food. I'm not quite sure. But we're opening a couple of things that came to the P.O. Box. And I have two things, but I'm going to open one today and one tomorrow. And I thought it was interesting because this one came from York, England. And the other one came from New York, from Jamestown, New York. So we'll open that one tomorrow. So I just wanted to give you a little uh, glimpse here. This is from Nigel, the Yorkshire Picker. Hope that you and your family are keeping safe and well. Encloses a British license plate. Unfortunately, ours are really boring compared to yours in the United States. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. And I guess this was his personal license plate. Not quite sure, but it looks like it sounds that way. And it says it's his ham radio call sign as well. It says, thanks for both of your channels, uh, which I watch each day, and also for inspiring me to keep reselling even after 20 years. 
Also, thanks for the kind words when you mentioned my name when I bought the Inaman. And I, I remember that now because one of my favorite ball players of all time that I coached a few years back was named Nigel. So, at any rate, that is awesome. We appreciate it so much. And we are going to put that up on one of our bins back here, probably on this side. We have a an Aussie plate there and a Canada one. So, we'll probably put it on one of those. And thank you so much for doing that. We really do appreciate it.